and welcome to Dotto Tech. Today, we're going to relax and unwind in our digital living room. And when you consider all the potential we have when we begin combining our computers, a wireless network, and high definition television, the results can be outstanding. Now, we've looked at the digital living room in the past, but today I want to show you a very interesting addition to the connected home and the crucial missing link in our home media toolkit. And we have here the makings of a digital living room that will totally rock. Key parts, high definition television, check. Media center PC, check. Wireless network, check. Now what's been missing is a media server, check. I'll get to it in a minute. But let's start with the HP Media Smart TV. Now this might look familiar to you because we have looked at it in past shows. It is a technically superior set, a brilliant 37 inch LCD display all of its specifications lead the market, from its 6 millisecond response time to its 6,000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio, which produces richer contrast, meaning blacker blacks. It has a 170 degree viewing angle, meaning that you don't have to sit right in front of the TV to have a great picture. It also comes with a special ambient light adjustment sensor, which automatically adjusts the picture to correspond with the room lighting. It also has all of the inputs anyone could want just to make sure all of our devices can and will connect to the business end of our media setup. But perhaps the most useful connection of all in the Media Smart TV is the one that we don't see. It has a wireless connection between our wireless or our Wi Fi network and the TV itself. The Media Smart TV has a media module built in which includes the wireless receiver for receiving streaming media and it's got a decoder that supports multiple audio and video formats including DivX, Windows Media Video, MPEG and more which means that we can access any content directly from our computer or server even when they're sitting in other rooms. Okay, now that we know what we're going to be watching, let's take a look at what's going to be driving all the content to that screen. Starting with this, Media Center PC. Again, we've looked at the features and benefits in past shows. This one is HP's M7580N, and it acts as the brain to our digital living room. We can use the Media Center PC to do so many things. Use it to store and rip our music, to manage our digital photos, to record and playback video. It has a built-in tuner card and a personal video recorder so that we can use it for all of our broadcast TV, for recording and viewing all of our over-the-air and broadcast TV as well. Moving along, sitting here on the desk, a wireless router. Now this is usually hidden away somewhere, but in order to set up our digital living room, we're going to need to plug something new into it, and that something new is this. We've never shown you this on the show before. It is HP's Media Vault. The HP Media Vault is essentially a networked attached storage drive with streaming media capabilities. It borrows technology from corporate servers and backup systems and brings them into the digital living room in a user-friendly way. The Media Vault is available in two configurations. There's a 300 and a 500 gigabyte version. This one here is the 500 gigabyte version. It's designed to store all of our family's files, from documents to photos to movies to music. But the HP Media Vault not only stores all of these files, but it's also designed to back them up and then to serve or stream them to the appropriate device, like our Media Smart TV that's sitting here waiting for the data to come from the device. So let me show you the actual physical setup of the device. On one side of this device has the 500 gigabyte hard drive. On the other side we have a removable storage bay which allows us to put in another hard drive and this will be a SATA compliant drive. It's an industry standard drive that we can just drop in here. It's, they're fairly inexpensive. As soon as we plug it in it will automatically be configured. Now they've also built RAID backup into this device so one drive can back up automatically onto the other. Now when we add another large hard drive we can actually build up to 1.2 terabytes of storage into this device. It has several different ports to allow us to connect some other peripherals. It has several USB ports and we use those USB ports to plug in additional hard drives or to plug in printers because it has a built-in print server so it can manage our whole family's printing needs. It also supports something called UPnP. Now UPnP is a really important factor. UPnP is universal plug-and-play. 
It's the standard that enables communication between different devices on a network. Now, the whole idea behind it is to make connecting these devices easy. Now, in the past, it was a highly technical process to make one network device like this talk to another network device and share data with it. In other words, it was difficult to create a high level of connectivity between our devices. UPnP has made it possible for the average person to install a highly sophisticated network drive like the Media Vault. And the way that this Media Vault actually connects to our network is through one gigabit Ethernet connection, which we have a physical port in the back, and that's what we plug into our wireless router. Now, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to show you how we first installed the Media Vault, and then we're going to show you all the wonderful things that we can do with it. For more information about any of the products we cover on the show, drop by our website at dototech.com.